Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Eko. Uh, I'm the chairman of the Apticom. Apticom is Indonesian Association for IT Universities. Currently, we have uh, more than 800 universities as our member, and uh, spread all over Indonesia from west to the east, and it consists of uh, more than 600,000 student body. And what this association uh, do is actually we set uh, our uh, national or our core curriculum to be used. And we also meet every year to share, to share knowledge, to share resources. And we also help the government to come up with a strategy to, uh, to increase Indonesian uh, national advantage through the use of information technology. About five years ago, uh, I mean, yes, I think three to five years ago, when we knew about the uh, open courseware, uh, we are quite surprised actually at that time. A lot of questions coming in our mind. Why a university as big as MIT uh, decided to open their knowledge to all over the world for free? And at that time, uh, we look at this initiative uh, suspiciously actually, just trying to understand what is uh, behind this one. From time to time, from year to year, we know that more of the content are there. And the contents are very, very, uh, have a good quality from our point of view. So, there is one time I still remember when our Minister of Education talked about this initiative. And since then, if you open Indonesian uh, uh, higher learning institution in the government uh, body, you will see the link to Open Courseware, MIT Open Courseware. Since then, many universities in Indonesia try to download the materials uh, from the open course web. Now, at that time, about three years ago, Apticom faced uh, problems. The problem is, we are lack of resources. We lack of professors, we lack of lecturers, we lack of experts, but we have a lot of universities. These limited resources becomes a serious national issues. So we are thinking to solve these issues. And suddenly we remember the open courseware. Why don't we just share everything we have? Why don't we share all of the materials that our lecturers have, our professors have? And, and when we throw out this idea to our members, suddenly people say, why, not, uh, why don't we share not just the courses, why don't we share the journals? Why don't we share the res our research? Why don't we share our laboratory, our library? And things get very excited. And then starting on, somebody said to me, why don't you go to MIT and study this open courseware? How do they start? What are the critical success factors? What is the thing that you have to consider if you want to join the open courseware? That was the first time I met Steve Carson in MIT and talk about this idea, how to become a member of uh, Open Courseware. What we think is by joining the Open Courseware, suddenly we are not just connecting to the MIT, but to more than 250 universities. Suddenly, all of Indonesian university will have a good materials that can that they can use. In the, of course. Uh, affordable way because it's free so we are really really uh, looking forward to join this uh, consortium now uh, we are introduced that to become the member of, uh, uh, of the open course there are two ways to do it affiliation and institution okay. I tell to my member if you want to become the institution it's very easy you just uh, uh, open the website and follow the requirements but what I want to do is, I want to have something that gives a big impact to Indonesia. If I can sign up as the Consortium of Indonesian Higher Learning Institution and IT University, suddenly we will have impact to 800 universities in Indonesia. Because I believe from 800 universities, maybe only 100 
university have capability or know the open course well and have capability to access and to download it because we have some kind of uh, limited infrastructure capability. We imagine if we have a server we, that can mirror the MIT server for example or the open course well, uh, server for example, a lot of 800 universities in Indonesia can benefit from them. And this is also good for us. Why? It becomes is uh, what I call as a peer pressure for Indonesian professors to also make the same things. We know that not all Indonesian professors like to share their ideas, and, and we believe that we are we are coming from the computer science. We know that the more people collaborate, the more benefit we have. If we don't collaborate, you will not get the benefit. So if you don't share something, you violate the IT law. <laughs> That's what we said. Why don't we just share? Okay. Coming from that one, the consortium asked me to formally sign up for the affiliate membership of the Open Courseware. What's next? After we have the Open Courseware, actually Open Courseware is uh, our reference, our syllabus that we can use for the course. We want to go one step further is to create the context or the value for our members. Content and infrastructure in our society uh, can give value, but you can have more value if you put a context on top of that. What is this context? The context is, we will use the open courseware materials as the syllabus and we will assign a donation professor who are expert on that field to use that syllabus to conduct the courses. Now, when they conduct the courses in one prestigious university, for example, the other small new university can take these courses by using e-learning. They are not just meet the professors face-to-face -face using the webcam or the webcast application but they can take this course formally and get the grade from the universities uh, that conduct these courses. We call this initiative as credit transfer. You know why this is will be very valuable for us? Because from 800 universities in Indonesia, maybe only 50 universities or less that have an accreditation A, the high accreditation. The other are still struggling because of the lack of resources, lack of knowledge, etc. But by having this uh, credit transfer, suddenly a university or a small college in a remote area can take the can meet the best professor from the Indonesian prestigious university that use open courseware as the main material for lectures. So that is the highest benefit that we are taking of to become the value of Indonesian open courseware. Thank you.